Mycenaean Greek is the most ancient attested form of the Greek language. On the Greek mainland, Crete and Cyprus in Mycenaean Greece, 16th to 12th centuries BC, before the hypothesized Dorian invasion, often cited as the terminus post Quem for the coming of the Greek language to Greece. The language is preserved in inscriptions in Linear B, a script first attested on Crete before the 14th century. Most inscriptions are on clay tablets found in Gnosis, in central Crete, as well as in Pylos, in the southwest of the Peloponnese. Other tablets have been found at Mycenae itself, Turins and Thebes and at Chania, in western Crete. The language is named after Mycenae, one of the major centers of Mycenaean Greece. The tablets long remained undeciphered, and many languages were suggested for them, until Michael Ventris deciphered the script in 1952. The texts on the tablets are mostly lists and inventories. No prose narrative survives, much less myth or poetry. Still, much may be glimpsed from these records about the people who produced them and about Mycenaean Greece, the period before the so-called Greek Dark Ages. Orthography <inaudible> 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 The Mycenaean language is preserved in Linear B writing, which consists of about 200 syllabic signs and logograms. Since Linear B was derived from Linear A, the script of an undeciphered Minoan, the sounds of Mycenaean are not fully represented. In essence, a limited number of syllabic signs must represent a much greater number of produced syllables that would be better represented phonetically by the letters of an alphabet. Orthographic simplifications therefore had to be made. There is no disambiguation for the Greek categories of voice and aspiration except the dentals d, t, e co may be either ego, I, or echo, I have. Any m or n, before a consonant, and any syllable final l, m, n, r, s are omitted. Pa ta is panta, all. Ka ko is kalkos, copper. Consonant clusters must be dissolved orthographically, creating apparent vowels. Po terine is p tolin classical polin city accusative case r and l are not disambiguated q a c re u as g acilius classical basilis king rough breathing is not indicated ani ya is hanii rains length of vowels is not marked the consonant usually transcribed Z probably represents asterisk die, initial asterisk Y, asterisk Kentucky, asterisk GY. Q is a labia velar K or G and in some names GH, QOU KORO is G alkaloi classical bocoloi, cowherds. Initial S before a consonant is not written, tatamo is stathmos, station, outpost. Double consonants are not represented. Ko no so is nosos classical noses. In addition to the spelling rules, signs are not polyphonic more than one sound, but sometimes are homophonic a sound can be represented by more than one sign, which are not true homophones, but are overlapping values. Long words may omit a middle or final sign. Topic. Phonology Mycenaean preserves some archaic Proto-Indo-European and Proto-Greek features not present in later Ancient Greek. One archaic feature is the set of labiovelar consonants, k, k, written q, which split into, b, p, p, d, t, t, or per gram k, k, in Ancient Greek, depending on the context and the dialect. Another set is the semivowels, j with and the glottal fricative, h, between vowels. All were lost in standard Attic Greek, but with was preserved in some Greek dialects and written as digamma or beta beta. It is unclear how the sound transcribed as z was pronounced. It may have been a voiced or voiceless affricate, dz, or ts, marked with asterisks in the table above. It derives from k, d, and some initial j and was written as zeta in the Greek alphabet. In Attic, it may have been pronounced zd in many cases, but it is z in modern Greek. There were at least five vowels, a e i o u, which could be both short and long. As noted above, the syllabic linear B script used to record Mycenaean is extremely defective and distinguishes only the semivowels j w, the sonorants m and r, the sibilant s, the stops p t d k q z, and marginally h. Voiced, voiceless and aspirate occlusives are all written with the same symbols except that d stands for d, and t for both t, and t. 
Both R and L are written R, H is unwritten unless followed by a. The length of vowels and consonants is not notated. In most circumstances, the script is unable to notate a consonant not followed by a vowel. Either an extra vowel is inserted, often echoing the quality of the following vowel, or the consonant is omitted. See above for more details. Thus, determining the actual pronunciation of written words is often difficult, and using of a combination of the pi etymology of a word, its form in later Greek and variations in spelling is necessary. Even so, for some words the pronunciation is not known exactly especially when the meaning is unclear from context, or the word has no descendants in the later dialects. Topic. Morphology Nouns likely decline for seven cases, nominative, genitive, accusative, dative, vocative, instrumental and locative, three genders, masculine, feminine, neuter, and three numbers, singular, dual, plural. The last two cases had merged with other cases by Classical Greek. In Modern Greek, only nominative, accusative, genitive and vocative remain as separate cases with their own morphological markings. Adjectives agree with nouns in case, gender, and number. Verbs probably conjugate for three tenses, past, present, future, three aspects, perfect, perfective, imperfective, three numbers, singular, dual, plural, four moods, indicative, imperative, subjunctive, optative, three voices, active, middle, passive, three persons, first, second, third, infinitives, and verbal adjectives. The verbal augment is almost entirely absent from Mycenaean Greek with only one known exception, the pe du k pyfr 1184, but even that appears elsewhere without the augment, as a pu du k kn odd 681. The augment is sometimes omitted in Homer. Topic. Greek features Mycenaean had already undergone the following sound changes peculiar to the Greek language and so is considered to be Greek. Topic. Phonological changes Initial and intervocalic asterisk s to h Voiced aspirates devoiced Syllabic liquids to r, al, or, or, ol, syllabic nasals to a, or, o Asterisk kj and asterisk tj to s, before a vowel. Initial asterisk j to h, or replaced by zeta exact value unknown, possibly dz. Asterisk gj and asterisk dj to zeta. Topic morphological changes The use of eus to produce agent nouns The third person singular ending a The infinitive ending ein, contracted from e and topic Lexical items Uniquely Greek words, wa na ka, asterisk wanix later Greek, anax anax, lord. Qac Ryu, asterisk G Asilius, later Greek, Basilis Basilius, King, Kako, asterisk K Alkos, later Greek, Chakos Chakos, Bronze, Greek forms of words known in other languages, E Ra Wo or E Rai Wo, asterisk Eliwin, later Greek, Elayon Elayon, Olive Oil, Teo, asterisk Teahos, later Greek, Theos Theos, God. T repo, asterisk tripos, later Greek, tripos tripos, tripod. Topic corpus The corpus of Mycenaean era Greek writing consists of some 6,000 tablets and potsherds in Linear B, from LMII to LHIIIB. No Linear B monuments or nonlinear B transliterations have yet been found. If it is genuine, the Kafkania pebble, dated to the 17th century BC, would be the oldest known Mycenaean inscription, and hence the earliest preserved testimony of the Greek language, but it is likely a hoax. Topic survival While the use of Mycenaean Greek may have ceased with the fall of the Mycenaean civilization, some traces of it are found in the later Greek dialects. In particular, Arcadocypriot Greek is believed to be rather close to Mycenaean Greek. Arcadocypriot was an ancient Greek dialect spoken in Arcadia Central Peloponnese, and in Cyprus. Ancient Pamphylian also shows some similarity to Arcadocypriot and to Mycenaean Greek. Topic variation within Corpus While the Mycenaean dialect is relatively uniform at all the centers where it is found, there are also a few traces of dialectal variants, I for E in the dative of consonant stems A instead of O as the reflex of N e.g. pe ma instead of pe mo the E, I variation in e.g. te mi ti ya, te mi ti ja based on such variations, Ernst Risch 1966 postulated the existence of some dialects within linear B the normal Mycenaean would have been the standardized language of the tablets, 
and the special Mycenaean represented some local vernacular dialect or dialects of the particular scribes producing the tablets. Thus, a particular scribe, distinguished by his handwriting, reverted to the dialect of his everyday speech and used the variant forms, such as the examples above. It follows that after the collapse of Mycenaean Greece, while the standardized Mycenaean language was no longer used, the particular local dialects reflecting local vernacular speech would have continued, eventually producing the various Greek dialects of the historic period. Such theories are also connected with the idea that the Mycenaean language constituted a type of a special coin representing the official language of the palace records and the ruling aristocracy. When the Mycenaean linguistic coin fell into disuse after the fall of the palaces because the script was no longer used, the underlying dialects would have continued to develop in their own ways. That view was formulated by Antonin Bartonic. Other linguists like L. R. Palmer and de. Yves Duhu also support this view of the Mycenaean linguistic coin. The term Mycenaean coin is also used by archaeologists to refer to the material culture of the region. However, since the Linear B script does not indicate several possible dialectical features, such as the presence or absence of word initial aspiration and the length of vowels, it is unsafe to extrapolate that Linear B texts were read as consistently as they were written. The evidence for special Mycenaean as a distinct dialect has, however, been challenged. Thompson argues that Rish's evidence does not meet the diagnostic criteria to reconstruct two dialects within Mycenaean. In particular, more recent paleographical study, not available to Rish, shows that no individual scribes consistently writes special Mycenaean forms. This inconsistency makes the variation between normal Mycenaean and special Mycenaean unlikely to represent dialectical or sociolectical differences, as these would be expected to concentrate in individual speakers, which is not observed in the Linear B corpus. Topic notes Topic References Ora Joro, Francisco, 1985-1993. Dicenario Micanico. Two vols. Madrid, Consejo Superior de Investigaciones Científicas, Instituto de Filología. Bartonic, Antonin 2003. Handbook des Mycenaean Griechisch. Heidelberg, Karl Winter. ISBN 3-8253-1435-9. Chadwick, John The Decipherment of Linear B Second Edition 1990. Cambridge UP. ISBN 0-521-39830-4. Chadwick, John. 1976. The Mycenaean World. Cambridge UP. ISBN 0 521 29037 6. Palima, Tom. The Scribes of Pylos. Rome. Thompson, Rupert. Special vs. Normal Mycenaean Revisited. Minos, 37 38 337 and N 369. Ventris, Michael, Chadwick, John. 1953. Evidence for Greek dialect in the Mycenaean archives. Journal of Hellenic Studies. 73-84 and N-103. Doi 10.2307/628239. JSTOR 628239. Ventris, Michael and Chadwick, John. 1956. Documents in Mycenaean Greek. Second edition, 1973. Cambridge UP. ISBN 0-521-08558-6. CS1 maint: multiple names, authors list. Link. Topic. Further reading: Bacher, Egbert J. Ed. 2010. A companion to the ancient Greek language. Oxford: Wiley Blackwell. Chadwick, John. 1958. The decipherment of Linear B. Cambridge, UK: Cambridge University Press. Christidis, Anastasios Foivos, ed. 2007. A History of Ancient Greek, From the Beginnings to Late Antiquity. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. Colvin, Stephen C. 2007. A Historical Greek Reader, Mycenaean to the Koine. Oxford, Oxford University Press. Easterling, P. E., and Carol Handley, 2001. Greek Scripts, An Illustrated Introduction. London, Society for the Promotion of Hellenic Studies. Fox, Margolet, 2013. The Riddle of the Labyrinth, The Quest to Crack an Ancient Code, First Edition. New York, Echo Press. Hooker, J. T. 1980. Linear B, An Introduction. Bristol, UK, Bristol Classical Press. Horrocks, Geoffrey, 2010. Greek, A History of the Language and Its Speakers. Second ed. Oxford, Wiley Blackwell.
Morpurgo Davies, Anna, and Eve Duhu, eds. 1985. Linear B, A 1984 survey. Louvain, Belgium, Peters. 2008. A Companion to Linear B, Mycenaean Greek Texts and Their World. Volume 1. Louvain, Belgium, Peters. Palaima, Thomas G. 1988. The Development of the Mycenaean Writing System, in Texts, Tablets and Scribes. Edited by J. P. Olivier and T. G. Palaima, 269-342. Suplementos of Minos 10. Salamanca, Spain, Consejo Superior de Investigaciones Scientificas. Palmer, Leonard R. 1980. The Greek Language. London, Faber and Faber. Ventris, Michael, and John Chadwick, 2008. Documents in Mycenaean Greek, 2nd ed. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. Topic external links Jeremy B. Rudder. Bibliography, The Linear B Tablets and Mycenaean Social, Political, and Economic Organization. The Writing of the Mycenaeans contains an image of the Kafkania pebble. Program in Aegean Scripts and Prehistory PASP. Paleolexicon, Word Study Tool of Ancient Languages. Studies in Mycenaean inscriptions and dialect, glossaries of individual Mycenaean terms, tablet, and series citations.